Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road survival video and in this video it's just gonna be a little clip from one of my live streams. I just wanted to show how Mike worked in a one-on-one -on -one situation against someone like Peacekeeper and it turned into a Mike versus an entire team just to see if it could actually work. I might put some clips up from my streams in the future just as content. It seems pretty straightforward. I do quite long streams two and a half hours to four hours sometimes so generally speaking get some content out of that get some content out of that so i should be reusing it if i was smart i should be definitely be doing that um and here's the first kind of like real clip from a stream i guess like i say you might do some more of these in the future now on to the clip um so like if i put in mike here doesn't matter even what weapon he's got i can duel and um his signature move does 80% hero reduction and 50% um, infection. The only way this can realistically get removed is from Priya. So like if you have Priya defense leader and peacekeeper in the same team, there is a chance that she can cleanse it. So you've got to like stop Priya from doing that by stunning her or dazing her. Um, but uh, I actually, I, I should have, I mean, I'll show you, I just defend, but he's dead now. Um, but where the bonus comes in is the fact that, um, like, and I, I could potentially, let me see, I could potentially beat a team that you would never think I could beat, right? Theoretically. It, I, I obviously would have to craft it to be susceptible to Mike, but on paper you'd think, now nah, that shouldn't work in terms of just, like, pure... Um, pure stat, uh, stats and how many characters there are. Let's go for uh, leaders. And then let's go for grade five. Okay, we'll go for actually. Actually, I've got to be careful with that actually. Whatever. Go for grade five. And then we'll go for. Who should we go for? We'll go for defense team characters. Oh, no, wait. Non leaders. So we can also put in Andre. Andre's a little bit harder to take out because he has a cleanse, um, which could actually screw me over. Who else could we take in? Maybe Cliff, he does have a heal, but yeah. And lastly, just as long as we don't take like a healer in, we could maybe like defeat this. I'll just take in like, I'll just keep taking Razo. Get some big bonuses to defense and stuff. Put in some big weapons. Do you think he could 1v5 this team? It would be a little bit tough. No pun intended, as there's so many tough characters. But I think he potentially could. potentially could let me give him a better weapon what weapon should we go for I'll go for the absolute defense heal weapon just so he has a little bit of sustainability yep he's got this <laughs> um, yeah wait what does he do like none of their rushes I mean only maybe him only maybe him um, I just have to not get controlled, pretty much. Oh, they've all got impair weapons, haven't they? I, I kind of stack them. Now, uh, what's my resist? Stun, so I just attack him, I guess. Okay, we're going to get our rush. No? We get 15k bleed. But I have got a heal, heal weapon. So now what will happen is it will start rolling around. Now, he's next. That's actually a problem. That he's next to be honest because he has infection when he dies 
So I got, and I'm stunned. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> but I have got a full heal. I have got a full heal. It's going to be close, I think. I think it's going to be close. He's dead. I get the infection. It's their turn. I got 90% infection right now. Uh, I think I just literally came in clutch. This is proper, proper troll. <laughs> I actually did it. <laughs> that's, that's actually crazy. And then um, we can heal reduction him. That's good. And he'll rush, but he'll be dead after his rush. Um, and I don't think he can hit it with 80% reduction. Yeah, we'll just defend. It's close. The bleed. I forgot about the fact that he, he brings bleed to the table. Oh, actually, he might have cleansed it there. He might have cleansed it. Yeah, I think he did. Did he cleanse it again? Nah, he's dead. <laughs> Took a while. It took a while. It took a while. What? What? What's the? What's the thing? <laughs> what's? The, how does it go? Who would win in a fight? Barker plus four tough lads. <laughs> or one really quiet guy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. He is a really good support character for sure. But obviously, if there was like one character in this defense team that had heals, then. Oh, one stinky boy, okay. <laughs> That's good, I like it. So that was it for this little stream clip. And I kind of enjoyed this, I kind of enjoyed doing this on the stream as well. And I've got some like stuff that I can do. A lot of the time when it comes to like mod openings and stuff. And we had a really good mod opening in that stream. So I might put together a clip for that sometime over the weekend. And if you have any kind of like requests or ideas or anything you want me to do. And I'm streaming. Feel free to come on my stream. I'm always just chilling out. Just messing around. I don't mind uh, building teams to do certain things. To do certain things certain ways. Um, I, I really don't have too much of a problem when it comes to that sort of stuff. I've got quite a lot of characters. I can do a lot of things just trying to have fun. Trying to find the usability of a particular character. Generally what I kind of like to do on streams anyway is just uh, chill out, have fun, but also kind of like some theory stuff as well. That's what RTS is all about, right? It's what RTS was all about. Uh, but that's, like I say, the, the end of this that first little clip. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving. <laughs>